Welcome to Cisco Packet Tracer 3.3.4.3. I'll be exploring inter-networking devices. The objectives are going to be to describe the different options available on an ISR and a router, and then determine which options provide the needed connectivity. And last, I'm going to add the correct modules and interfaces to the ISR and the router and interconnect the devices. So first, I'm going to start off by going to Router 0 and clicking on and now I'm going to look at the modules and I'm going to plug in one of these modules into here but first we need to make sure the device is off so I'm going to just drag a couple of these over there turn the device back on go to config we're going to wait until this is finished click OK I'm going to go down here to Ethernet and just make sure that these are checked on. Now I'm going to X out of that. Now I'm going to go into Router 1. And we're going to explore the ISR modules available under the Modules option on the Physical tab. We're going to find the appropriate interface modules to connect Router 0, Access Point, and the existing PCs. The module names might not be the same as those installed on the existing networking equipment. So we're gonna you need to choose modules that provide the same kind of connectivity and use the same type of cable. And for this network, the multiport switch module is the best choice to connect the PCs. The built-in LAN ports can be used to connect to the access point. So first I'm going to power down the 1841 ISR using the power button in the physical device view window on the physical tab. So we'll power it down. And I'm going to put a multi-port switch over here, and then I'm going to pick up the WIC1EET, which has a single Ethernet port. Drag it over here, click on, and power that up. Okay, now I'm going to go to the Config tab and select each interface, and we'll wait till it's finished booting. Okay, now that that's done. I'm just going to go through and make sure all of these are checked on. Okay, I'm going to click out of that. And now we're going to connect Router 0 to the 1841 ISR Router 1. Router 0 connects to Router 1 over a wide area network. So using the appropriate cable, I'm going to connect the first appropriate router 0 port to the first available router 1 port. Then I'm going to verify that the connection is working. A green light at each end of the cable indicates that the correct cable type is being used and the interfaces are powered up. So I'll go to connections, pick copper crossover, go from router 1 to router 0. Go down to the Ethernet port, and as you can see, the lights are green.